Hey guys, Mamie here, and today we are going to be doing extreme masking. We're building a scene card, and I'm using the My Favorite Things stamp set, two stamp sets by My, My Favorite Things. I'm going to be using the Misty, and the stamp set is called Make Yourself at Home, which is a fantastic stamp set for building any scenes and things like that, and then the Cool Cat stamp set, and these are both by My Favorite Things. And so we're going to be doing a lot of masking. So if you are new to masking, this is, I would say, advanced masking because it's I, I think it has about three layers of masking in some parts. So stay tuned if you'd really like to learn how to do it, especially with the Misty, because the Misty has really, really helped me, helped me so much to be able to do this. So first of all, I'm just masking off the floor here. I'm not really trying to mask it off. I'm just creating a little area so that I can see where to place all of my masks to start off with and I'm only laying down these masks so that I can place my first set of stamped images so I have all of my stamps here I have the cat and the pillow and the side table and all the things that you stamp first are going to be in the forefront and all that means is that it's in front of everything Okay, and so I have these guys set up, and I have that little fishbowl that's set up, too, to go on top of that table. And in order for them to be in the forefront, I would have to take all those masks off because it needs to be stamped onto the paper by itself. And you'll see why. Okay. So that part has come out good. Just darken it up a little bit more. And now we're going to be moving to the second phase here of masking and stamping. And so I'm going to be masking these elements off that I have stamped so that I can put the second layer. So I'm putting that couch down that sofa, love seat, whatever you want to call it, and the aquarium. And now I put that little side table there and I put the mask on the aquarium and that way the table will look like the aquarium is actually sitting on top of it, not like it's floating on top of it. So this, this helps to where you can ground the actual aquarium onto the table. And I have this other little mouse's uh, mouse. This other little cat's head. He's gonna be poking out from behind the couch, except his paws are going to be in front of the couch. So in essence, he is actually in front of the couch. So in order to do that, I need the, the couch to be stamped afterwards. So I need to stamp him first, then mask him, and then put the couch on, and then it'll sh that will show him being actually his paws in front of the couch since there is no actual body of the cat. It's a little bit complicated, but you'll see as we go here. And so I also put up a little picture frame there and I put the love seat in place because I'm ready now for, to stamp all that. And I also have a little light floor lamp that I'm gonna put as well. And you wanna make sure that the bottom of that floor lamp is behind the table. You don't want it sitting in front of the table because then it'll look like part of the lamp is in front and part of the lamp is in back and that will look strange. So I'm inking it up here and you catch me right here where I'm fixing this and I caught myself right there and I forgot to put the mask on that little pillow. So I'm so glad I caught that because I was I was having a good run here without any mistakes. Okay, so now I have taken off the bottom tape there so I can put this rug, and I want this rug to be under the couch, so I need to mask the couch in order to stamp that so that it'll, the rug will appear to be under it. And I think our scene is coming together really well. What do you guys think? Thank you. 
And so now I'm laying down that tape there so I can draw the baseboards and make sure that you um, draw this line back behind all the furniture. You don't want it too close to the, to the front of the furniture because you want to have plenty of ground space there. And to create all these masks, I'm just using the Inka Dinka Do masking paper. Since I'm not doing any ink blending, I'm just stamping over the top. The Inka Dinka Do paper is just fine for that. And so this is a wood grain stamp that I have from um, Stampin' Up, and I really love it so much. I really like that it has like different panels of wood grain instead of just one large wood panel. So it's really cool, especially for creating wood floors. So in order to get it on my Misty, because I wanted to make sure it had a good impression, I didn't want for the floors to look all strange, I pulled my card up higher so that the uh, stamp could sit below it and have enough room. Because I'm, I'm always in the habit of putting my card in the bottom right-hand corner. So this is a little bit different for me to do. But that worked out okay. And then I put another piece of paper under my card because so that I wouldn't get ink all over the Misty. And now I'm going to pull all of this up. And there we have our scene coming together nicely. Okay, and then I wanted to put a last few little details here. So I'm going to stamp some little flowers in the um, in the picture frame in the back. And we need to stamp the little pillow, the little throw pillow on the couch there. And we are pretty much done with our masking. So that first part was the masking. And the second part is going to be the Copic coloring. And so if you don't care for the coloring, you can just uh, skip to the end because it is obviously a lot of coloring. And so I'm going to turn on some music and you can just uh, sit back and relax and watch the coloring. Um, I, I, I do several layers, um, not really because, um, because I add a lot of shadows, but because there is so much area. I didn't want for it to be splotchy, so there are some uh, several layers on the ground and stuff like that. But I did keep the coloring quite simple as far as shading and things like that. I, you know, I, it would take me forever if I wanted to do perfect shading on this image. So, um, yeah, sit back and relax and enjoy the coloring, and I will see you whenever the coloring is done to finish up the card.
Okay, so here we are done with all of the coloring and I'm going to mix together a sentiment from each stamp set. I think we'll play along really well with the scene. And it says, thank Mew for your hospitality. <laughs> so I thought that was a really, I was lucky that the sentiments kind of worked together in that way. So I put the thank Mew down first. And then I'm going to do our last bit of masking. <laughs> and I'm going to mask off the thank you in the other sentiment and stamp that. That way the thank you part will not get inked up. And I will just place that underneath the thank mew. And there we have it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really hope that you like this card. I know that I did. And don't forget to hit subscribe.